hello everyone in this video I am going to show you how to create attribute views in SAP HANA which is one of the modeling object in HANA so attribute views are nothing but master data which holds your attribute attributes information to analyze facts or to analyze measures in a way you want so we we'll log into our uh, HANA studio so here we have our schema which contains sample tables where you know we have a uh, products information we have uh, business partner information along with employees and then when it comes to transaction data we have purchase information as well as sales order information so first we'll create attribute view attribute view for our products so whatever the modeling that we are going to do all the modeling objects will be grouped by packages in HANA so when you are going to start up your modeling first thing we have to do is we have to create package so you can create package by right click on your content folder in uh, in the particular uh, SAP HANA system and new package or you will have option to create package from your quick launch screen itself so I'm going to right click on my content folder new package okay, here we have to give a package name so I'm going to specify on e-learning description then you have to give delivery unit so the functionality of delivery unit is use uh, to import and export your objects it's basically for transportation mechanism so where you know once you develop your objects in development system you can assign or you can collect those objects as delivery unit and export the delivery unit to your local system again import the same delivery unit to your quality system so that those objects will be available in your quality system as well so if you want to assign delivery unit now itself you can assign or you want to collect the objects later into your delivery unit you can do that so we are not going to specify any delivery unit now and click on ok so now you will have your pack package available under content folder then the next step is we are going to create attribute view so to create an attribute view you can right click on your package new attribute view so I'm going to specify attribute view at underscore products I'll give same description then you will have an option called copy from so if you want to create this attribute view based on a, based on an existing attribute view structure then you can choose copy from and choose based on which object you want to create okay. later if you want to do any changes for this object you can do it it's not dependent on your source object then the option we have is subtype so in subtype we have three types of attribute views first one is standard standard is nothing but normal attribute view the next one is time so if you want to create a time dependent attribute view like a time dependent master data then you can go ahead and create subtype time attribute view the last one is derived so derived is <coughs> same as copy from where you know you will be uh, creating your attribute view based on existing structure but the difference is if you want to do any changes later for the newly created object you cannot do if you want say you know any uh, new additional attributes or new additional characteristics to be available in your new structure you have to do changes to the base structure then those will be available in your new structure as well so that's the difference between copy from and derived so in this case we are going to create a standard object and then finish So now you will have two main areas in attribute view one is semantics and data foundation where your semantics contains you know what are the uh, fields you have selected for output like uh, a brief overview about your attribute view whereas data foundation con contains what is your you know, what is the source table for your attribute view or what is the source for your attribute view so now the first step we have to do is you have to add 
the table on which you want to create this attribute view to the data foundation. So we'll go to our uh, specific schema. So I want to we want to create attribute view on products. So you can simply drag and drop here. This is one way of adding a table or the other way is if you move your mouse here you will get a plus mark like this you can click on that plus mark and then you can search for your table so you have products in HANA training so I want this and I am going to add it so these are other way of adding table so now once you add table you have to select what are the fields that you want for output initially you can see the output fields in the right side top box so we don't have any field selected for output now so if you want to select a field for output you can click on this gray color symbol okay or the other way is you can right click on the object and add to output so these are two ways of doing it so I want a category as well then I want product name ID then what is the product unit price so these are the fields I want now you can see all those fields available on right side now once you select those <coughs> the required fields for output you can go ahead and either validate save and validate or save and activate so if you do save and validate it will save your object and perform validation but it will not activate if you do on if you do a save and activate it will save your object as well as validation also happens as part of activation so if you want to do a first save and validation now it will get fail because if you go to semantics you can see what is the property of each uh, no field we have selected for output so for an attribute view the prerequisite is we should have at least one key attribute for each attribute view so if you select a properties of any field you can see two options attribute and key attribute so at least one field should be selected as key attribute so I we want in you know, a product ID as key attribute will select key attribute now if you do a validation it will get successful okay if we go to our package now we can see attribute view with a gray color rhombus symbol that means this particular object is saved in your system but it's not inactive the objects that are in active state can be exposed to reporting tools the objects that are not in active state cannot be exposed so now we'll go, go ahead and activate this now you can see it's completed and you can also see the rhombus symbol has gone gray color rhombus symbol so once you have activated this you can go ahead and see the data preview to check you know whether your uh, model is correct or not so there are two ways of doing data preview you can right click on your uh, attribute view and do a data preview or you will have an option here direct option data preview okay. if you click here you will get so now I can see my product ID related you know what is the type and category and a name ID as well as unit price so what happens when you create attribute view in HANA studio so once you activate an attribute view in HANA studio system actually creates a column view in the backend so where that column view stores so column view stores in sysbic schema okay, if you go here you will you will see sysbic schema under sysbic schema you can see column views so now I'll put a filter here filter so I'm going to put filter based on my package HANA e-learning and OK so now I can see so I have two column views here one is the main one and one with hierarchy so I want this main one now you can see if you see a data preview this is same as your attribute view so when you are 
going to expose this particular specific model to any reporting tool you are actually going to expose this column view you are not going to expose this attribute view so this column view is going to be backend object for the model that you have created okay. now let's say you know we have only one table here and you can see you know product name id so instead of product name id my customer want to see product name itself so what what we can do for that so if you look at our schema we have a text information where we have product name ids and a description for those so what we can do is as an enhancement you can go ahead and add that text table to your uh, data foundation and you can see you know we have a name id here and you can join this name id to text id and once you join this you can define the join condition so you will get a properties here so usually you know as you need a descriptions from the left side table we are going to keep a join type as left outer join then you can select the cardinality so i'm going to select nh21 once you select this i want a description okay then now activate so it's active now you can see the data preview so now i have a description for each product here okay so if you see these two are you know not in the same sequence see somewhere i have name id and somewhere i have text nothing but description so if i have these two at you know at same place then that gives meaningful information so how can we achieve that so to do that we can assign label mapping so for which we want that this name id should be mapped with my description so what you can do you can select name id from output columns and in the properties you will have label column so label is nothing but description you can assign label so what is the description description for name id is text now we'll go on and activate this it's active you see the data preview you can see now name id and text comes along so this gives a better view than the earlier one okay so in our next video we'll see the you know advanced features we have in attribute you like you know how to create calculated columns and what is the advantage of calculated columns and how to create hierarchies also Thank you for watching. Happy learning.